Yes, my dear friend, very good morning to you on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, or here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia to be precise. I'm glad, I'm excited to be back this morning. Yes, with great, great news exclusively for you on this channel, Salon Vlog. I have a lot of videos for you today. <laughs> America, blues in America, here we come. Yes, a lot is happening. In fact, middle of the night, 2 a.m., that was when the press conference was finally held. The long-awaited press conference, we finally heard from our coach for the very first time, Chelsea, <laughs> a lot I have here on my menu for you today. And we are not going to waste much time. Quickly, I want to take three shout-outs before I get started. Yes, three shout out and the rest I'll bring it at the end of the video. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to the end because I have a lot of videos for you to watch. Yes, dear friends, the, the first shout out here goes to Prince. I believe Uche Prince, I be, or Oche Prince. I'm not too sure. Your name is not here. I'm only seeing it on your email. So I think Chelsea don't know what they are doing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, my brother. I, I don't want to believe so. I believe we know exactly what we are doing. I believe the authorities, they know what they are doing. Because one thing that is for sure is that these owners are businessmen. And so everything they are doing is profit. <laughs> All right. The second one is from, uh, uh, what's his name? Niyi. Is that, his name is Niyi from Nigeria. Well, it's a nice job. One thing that I know, you don't like our brother Victor Osimen. But let me tell you, Victor is coming to Chelsea. My name is Niyi, Nigeria. But, but stay in Cairo. Niyi, you are in Cairo. You stay and you live in Cairo, but you are Nigerian. Wow, my dear friend. The truth is, I don't... I, Victor Osimen is my own guy. I like him. He's very powerful. As a matter of fact, on the African continent, when we want to check it carefully right now, the top three footballers... Top three footballers in Africa right now. You cannot count them without counting Victor Osimhen. In the top three, you can't mention top three footballers on the Africa continent right now without counting Victor Osimhen. And you cannot count the top ten goal scorers or the, the top ten prolific strikers in Europe right now without mentioning Victor Osimhen's name. So there's nothing how that I would not like Victor Osimhen. And just give me a minute. I'll tell you something. Let me finish with this shout out. This one says, Good evening, sir. I'm so excited to hear from you talking about Avarez. I'm praying that the deal should happen from Cameroon. Your, and that is from uh, Ananias Manga or Mango, whatever. Well, dear friend, big shout out to all three of you Prince, Nii, and Ananias. Big shout out to you all. Very big shout out to you. Have a great, great morning. All right, dear friends, let's get started. And we are starting on Victor Osimhen. I want to let you know, my brother, me, in, uh, in Egypt, Nigerian, but living in Egypt. I want to show you something here quickly. Okay? Yes. For you to understand, you see, the job, what we are doing here is to analyze situations. We have global audience. What we call global audience means that we are not just focusing on Africa or Nigeria or Ghana or Cameroon. We have global audience on this channel. And so whenever we try to analyze players or games, we try to be objective, dear friend. And that is what I always try to do. Sometimes you might think I don't like a particular player. No, but I'm looking at the bigger picture. That in the interest of Chelsea, in the interest of Chelsea, looking at the situation in, on ground, there are many factors that made Victor Osimhen um, um, the best if Chelsea was to go in for him. There are many factors that place him in a better position to be the best for Chelsea. And at the same time, if you look at the current ownership and the way they are transacting their businesses, the caliber of player they are buying, you will see very clearly that sometimes if you are not very careful, even Victor Osman might struggle within the squad because of the type of player they are buying. And the system of football they want to play. The Maresca system, does it suit Victor Osimhen? Think about that. I'm not going to analyze that for you right now. Apart from that, the owners and the way they are transacting their business now on their players, this is what 
Fabrizio Romano even came up on Victor Osimhen. Victor Osimhen's priority remains to leave Napoli this summer. PSG, re remain, PSG won't pay the clause and talks are in, in standby at the current condition. No chance to include can lay, can in lay. Osimhen could also consider Saudi league bids as Napoli want Lukaku to replace him. Now, just hold on a minute. I have more for you, dear friend. I will show you for you to understand. I'm not too sure if I have it here. For you to understand that it is not about what I am saying. It is about the situation on ground. If I can get it, I will let you have it right now. It says, good. Victor Osimhen's wage. This is from Fabrizio Romano. Victor Osimhen's wage is between 9 to 10 million pounds per year. Victor Osimhen's salary, if Chelsea is to sign him, 9 to 10 million pounds per year. That's per season. Which these current owners are not willing to pay any player. And that is the reason why Michael only said deal could not go through. This is coming from Fabrizio Romano. This is from Fabrizio Romano. The reason why Michael only said deal could not go through is the same reason why Chelsea cannot sign Victor Osimhen. Unless, unless uh, uh, Napoli drop their release clause and the player himself is willing to negotiate and reduce his wages do you understand it so looking at this alone you can see very clearly the direction the club is going and you just can agree with me that there is no need how unless there's a change unless there's a change at the top then only chelsea can Meaning that the so-called Mareska football, so they will have to adjust certain things that will suit the style of play for Victor Osimhen. It is not any, any player they are buying right now. You understand that? Great. Dear friend, let me not drag this for so long. But quickly, we are in the U.S. right now, ladies and gentlemen. And our mission at TLC, according to our coach, our head coach, Mareska, Enzo Mareska, ladies and gentlemen, this is the statement our coach dropped during the press conference. I have a video there. I might not be able to play the audio for you, but just listen to what he said. He said, I am here for the same idea, the same target in terms of when you join a big club like Chelsea, one of the best clubs in the world, you have to try to win trophies and compete and that is our target for sure. This is coming from Enzo Maresca's own mouth. When you join a big club in the world like Chelsea, you have to try to win trophies and compete. And that is our target for sure. This is coming from our coach. The first press conference they held last night. Most of us were sleeping. 2 a.m. <laughs> ah. Dear friend, you can see the video there by yourself. Mareska was again asked regarding the situation about Enzo, Mar Enzo Fernandez and Trevor Chaloba. Quickly, this is what he said on Trevor Chaloba. Why they left Chaloba behind. Enzo Mareska on Trevor Chaloba left out of US store. He said, it's always sad to leave a player out. But I'm here to take decisions. We have Wesley Fofana, the Sassy, Tosin there. Also, we have a champion who is doing fantastic. This is what the coach has to say. What else do we expect him to say? You just can't carry every player along. Even though I personally disagree. This is preseason. There is no number of limits. There is no limit to the number of players you can carry along for preseason. You could have just take them along. Then you work with them. Once they are there, they are negotiating their deals. Whichever club wants to buy them. Well, the coach has spoken finally and we have to take him for his word. All we want is Chelsea winning. No matter how much we cry, like you are talking about 
uh, Nii was talking about Victor Osime, right? Okay, this is Trevor Chaloba. Academy product was dropped. Will I go crying my, you know? <laughs> Dear friends, it is what it is. It is what it is, all right? He said, this Chelsea team is so likable. Honestly, this Chelsea team, if you watch their videos, like the one you are seeing right now, on your screen, it's so likable compared to how the squad was a couple of years back. It feels good to see them, dear friends. I could watch this video many times without getting tired. Look at them in the, in the pool. Even a bit of fun and work in the swimming pool, it's interesting. West Level Fana is a bit of character, you know that, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is your breakfast, and I don't want to be so harsh. I'm trying to take it easy. Let's just enjoy the video. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Let's just enjoy the videos. Yeah, that is why I'm here this morning. Now, on Christopher Nkuku, our coach has spoken about many of the players. Like this video you're about to watch right now. That's Christopher Nkuku scoring a goal there. This next video you're watching right now. Nkuku can play everywhere. He's doing very well already, according to our coach. This is what the coach said. He said he can play number nine, winger, attacking midfielder. He can play everywhere. I see football with players able to play in several positions. I want players to develop and play in several positions. Dear friend, this is coming from our coach at the press conference. He said he won't play a player that can play in several positions. He's not looking for a player that is stuck to, oh, I'm number nine. I am this, I am that. No. He's looking for, we call it, in those days, uh, there's one coach that I, when I was growing up, I met in Ghana. Coach, is it coach? Uh, I forgot the name. He, he, he plays a system called multi-system. Multi-system, in fact, is it this Mareska style of football? It did not start today. But just because some of us were not following football so keenly those days, that's why. I remember very well. Italian, is it Italy, Italy 91? It under 17 World Cup. Yes. Italy 91 and 17 World Cup. That is a coach. Ghana, I think Ghana won the under 17 World Cup in Italy. Is it Italy? Oh, yeah. 91. He played this multi system where the players are able to move from one position to the other. He can just switch play off a sudden. This is what we are seeing again. Moreno, we give credit to Moreno because recently, in the past decade or so, he has practiced that and worked perfectly for Chelsea, like I said to you three days ago. But he said, Nkuku can play as number nine, as a winger, attacking midfielder. He can play everywhere. I see football with players able to play in several positions. I want players to develop and play in several positions position. This is according to our head coach Enzo Mareska. Dear friend, alright. Quickly, before I let you go, because this is just your breakfast. Like, remember the press conference took place or started at 2.15 a.m. 2.15 <laughs> a.m. when most of you were sleeping. Yes. 2.15 a.m. Alright. Quickly. Yes. Chelsea don't want to pay the wages for Victor Osimhen, 9 to 10 million pounds net, way too expensive. Same for Olise and other cases. This is exactly the, the word I was looking for to give you from Fabrizio Romano. Finally, I got it. I, I, I quoted it earlier on. I quoted it earlier on, dear friends. All right. To some other news before I let you go this morning for your breakfast. Dear friend. Fenabachi, <laughs> Jose Moreno and Fenabachi. They had their first preseason game, and uh, Jose Moreno came on top 4 3. Yeah, it was an away match. Fenerbahce came on top 4 3. And uh, they are still signing players. After St. Maxim, Fenerbahce are, are still signing good players for Jose. Next season, if you are a Jose lover, if you like, like Jose Moreno, start to follow Fenerbahce. You save N. Naziri. To Fenerbahce, details now sorted, and here we go. According to Fabrizio Romano, after Saint Mazen, Fenerbahce have agreed on personal terms with M. Naziri and book flight medical. Savila will receive a fee in excess of 20 million euro for the Moroccan striker. Savila, if you know 
this player we are talking about here, you know the kind of players you say is gathering. Physicality. Physicality. In, trust Jose Moreno to deliver. All right, dear friend, before I go to the shout out, <clears throat> Real Madrid official statement confirmed they became the first football club to exceed 1 billion euro in revenue. 27% more than the previous season. <laughs> Real Madrid, they don't make losses. Real Madrid, they don't, they don't make losses. They've declared profits in a season of 1 billion euros. That is a president you can see on the screen there with the trophy. Real Madrid official statement confirmed they became the first football club to exceed 1 billion in revenue. Revenue. 27% more than previous season. Come again. Which club want to compete with Real Madrid? They can buy any player they want to buy. And when, it, when Real Madrid comes knocking, know it that money is knocking at your door. <laughs> Fame is knocking at your door. My dear friend, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes, and like I said, Christopher Nkuku, in that video he was scoring a goal, Nkuku taking up number 10, number 8 position. Very interesting. He played number 8 in their first training yesterday. He played the number 8 position in the US. Number 8 position. That's where he scored a goal from. Alright? Okay, quickly, I will have to give my shout out and let you go. I'll be back with more exclusives. Yes. I should be back with more exclusives in the coming hours. Still on our US store. A lot has taken place. A lot the coach has said. Some coming from the players. And I'll give you all in my next episode. Exclusively on this channel, dear friends. Before you go quickly, big shout out to Ananias Manga. Good evening, sir. I'm so excited to hear from you talking about Alvarez. I'm praying that the deal should happen from Cameroon. And announced manga from Cameroon. Big shout out to you. Well, there is no negotiations yet. Only yesterday night we got an information or a report that Avarice finally, Man City has named their prize 70 million euros plus 20 million in add ons. Yes, but I, in my next episode, I will elaborate more on this. So let's hope. Let's just hope. Yeah. All right. This one's coming from uh, Alfred Beck, who said, Our new owners are just after. Aim for business only. Why am I saying this? He said, because they, they want to sell our academy players only to make profit. Look at Ayamatsen's injury record and that of Ben <laughs> That's coming from my brother, Alfred Beku. Big shout out to you, Alfred Beku. This is coming from Patrick Olanke. Patrick Olanke. He said, I like the historical pictures of the clubs of those coaches. Thanks for the research. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch me here also. I'm grateful for your time. I appreciate you all out there. Big shout out to you guys all out there in Nigeria or on the African continent as a whole. In Europe, in America, in Canada, or here in Southeast Asia with us. All right. This is for Abba Francis Abba. So the players left out of the preseason for Chelsea are players that are having strong interest from other clubs. Before the preseason, those players have been penciled down for sale. And there is a strong interest from many for Chaloba. And it's going to be here we go very soon. Well, you see, Chaloba's situation, he already made his stance very clear. That he's not going to any club that is not in a European competition. Yes, he said any club that Chelsea would like to sell him to before he will move, that club must be in, the, in Europe. Otherwise... He will sit at home like they told him to sit at home and he'll be collecting his wages. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Big shout out to you out there, Abba Francis Abba. This is coming from Casimo Abbas. Any single player we buy, Man City, where they call to Chelsea, they are good. Is there any single player we buy from Man City? Okay, to Chelsea, they are good. Yes, yes, I believe that. I believe that any player that we buy from Man City, definitely the player should be a very good player. And once he's coming from Man City and he's under Pep Guardiola, I believe that's what you mean. All right? I believe you say, yes, we need that striker from Man City. Yes, talking about Alvarez, Julian Alvarez. All right, all right. Big shout out to you out there. And this is saying, coming from Ibrahim Shola. He said, good evening. Good news from Ibrahim Shola. 
All right, let me give the last ones. Hi, bro, Mr. Taylor from Celerion. For me, you are the best blogger. I love you so much. Keep on the good work. All for you, bro. Big, big, big thanks to you. Thanks to you, my brother. I appreciate, I appreciate your love. I appreciate your time on this channel. Big shout out to you, Mr. Taylor from Celerion. All right. This coming from, uh, okay, let me leave the rest for my next video. Dear friends, I'll see you in the next one when you see me. It's been wonderful coming your way once again. Have a great, great, great day. See you when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.